Hello everyone, my name is Peter Rivas. Welcome to the Marvel Analysis course. In this course we will dive into the following topics. A short introduction to the assembly language, branches, conditional jumps and calling conventions. Fetching of executables to modify the working of the code. Automation of debuggers by the help of scripting. Static analysis of binaries. Dynamic analysis of binaries. Common anti-debugging techniques like is debugger present, get tick count, TLS callback, and so on. Identifying common packers and analyze the packed codes. In this first video, we will do the following stuff. Install the required debuggers. Then install the symbol files. And finally set up the debuggers to use the symbol files. First of all, let's set up our environment. We are going to install some debugger, to be more exact many debuggers, because all the debuggers has, have their advantages and disadvantages. Sorry. The first one we are going to install is the only 1.1. It's simple to install, just copy paste it to the C drive. And also I will name it to only dbg, just to stick to the name in the file. And the next one will be the OLI DGB 2.01. This is the other version. And we are going to install the immunity debugger. That's the www.immunityenc.com. And here is the immunity debugger. Yes, we accept the license agreement. And install it. If the Python were not already installed, then it will go into install it also. Install it to the Python 27 directory. And finally, we are going to install the Microsoft debugger, the WinDBG. www.microsoft.com And here is a Microsoft debugger. We accept the license agreement and do a complete installation. Finish. Also, it is recommended to install the symbol files for your system. This is a Windows 2008 SP2 machine and here is the downloaded symbol files for this machine. As you hopefully know, there is different symbol files for every service pack practically. Of course you can use online symbol files, but if you want to do some other analysis, then you do not really want internet connection. So most probably you will install them as I do it. It will take a while. Ok, the installation is complete and we have one more task for the only. We are going to install an additional plugin. Later we will install some more, but first we need this one, the only dbg script 1.82. It's practically only a DLL that you should copy to the directory of the only. So I just paste it here and it is installed. Then we set up our debuggers to use the symbol files. I start with the OLI debugger 1.1. So first I go to the OLI DBG directory and start the OLI DBG. Go to the debug menu and here select pass for symbols. And I just select the installed symbol files. They are at the Windows symbols directory. This is the default pass of them. OK, and it's finished. I just close it. Next I set up the OLI debugger 2.01. I start the OLI debugger. Now you have to go to the options and options. Here is the debugging data and select the pass for the PDB files. This is again in the Windows symbols directory. Symbols, it's here. 
I also use the DBG app for stock work. Gives you some additional information. And I close this one as well. And finally, I set up the immunity debugger. Oh, and after that, I will be the windy biggie. G. I increase the size a bit. Increase it. Go to the debug menu, debugging symbol options. And here, select local symbol pass. Go to the C drive, windows, and symbols. Again. Okay. And finally, we set up the Windows debugger. It can be started from Start menu, All programs, Debugging tools for Windows. And here is the WinDBG. Go to the file, Symbol file pass. And here, click to the Browse button. And go to the C, Windows, what is it? Windows and symbols directory and OK. It's written here. OK. Then I recommend you to exit from the application and save the information to the workspace. So yes. And I recommend you to test if it is really set. Symbol file pass again. Yes, it's really set. OK. So we set up all the debuggers to use the symbol files. The environment is prepared. We can start our introduction to the Marvels.